Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Russ. Today, I'm going to be talking about the feud between Quantum TV and The Act Man. And basically, if you don't know who either of these people are, they are two of the biggest YouTubers on this platform. And they are involved in some huge drama right now regarding copyright striking, doxing, racism, etc, etc. I'm basically just going to break down the situation and what I do know that happened, and then I'm just going to give my thoughts and that'll be that. So, I have something pulled up here explaining the feud, so I'm going to read it now. The Act Man vs. Quantum TV refers to an ongoing feud between YouTubers The Act Man and Quantum TV surrounding Quantum TV unfairly copyright striking The Act Man, Mischief, and several other YouTubers for making critical videos on him using his footage. The copyright strikes resulted in The Act Man and others exposing Quantum TV's alleged homophobic and otherwise problematic past behavior online resulting in an attempt to get Quantum TV's channel removed for both the abuse of the copyright system and hate speech. In June 2022, YouTube decided not to take action on Quantum TV's channel and demonetize the Actman's channel, removing him from the partnership program. This was seen by many as YouTube siding with Quantum TV unfairly, sparking the Justice for Actman hashtag. And it basically just has like a history of the feud, which I'll go over to. So it says, Quantum TV copyright strikes mischief. In March 2022, YouTuber Quantum TV posted a video criticizing the video game Elden Ring, telling people, don't buy this game. His main complaints surrounded the game's difficulty, toxic fan base, graphics, and frame rate, calling the story lackluster. The video became the subject of critical responses many seeing the arguments against the game as invalid. The video has since been removed. That month, YouTuber Mischief made a response video to Quantum TV's review, calling him out for having a bad take on Elden Ring, shown below, left re-uploaded. On March 15th, Mischief posted a video to YouTube, shown below, titled Quantum TV Copyright Abuser and Fat Shamer, which I think I've seen I think I actually did see that video, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's still up or not. I would hope it is still up, but if it's not, then whatever. Explaining how Quantum TV falsely copyright struck his video for using Quantum TV's footage. In the video, Mischief shares a number of comments Quantum TV made under the video response, demanding Mischief remove his footage from the video and claiming it's a violation of YouTube's terms of service to download another creator's clips using third-party software. Mischief refutes these claims. He also claims Quantum TV told Elden Ring's players to kill themselves. Quantum TV posted and deleted a response to the video, claiming Mischief used too much of his video. Mischief also responds to this, claiming Quantum TV used bad sources to defend his stance. Mischief exposed Quantum TV's past homophobic, bigoted, and otherwise hateful past online content in numerous posts on YouTube and Twitter that month. On March 16th, WordPress user Lucian O. Maverick posted an article sharing several now-deleted homophobic tweets from Quantum TV including a comment Quantum TV purportedly made wishing the creators of The Last of Us 2 were victims of the Pulse nightclub shooting. What the fuck? This guy is so fucked up. Wow. On March 20th, Mischief posted a video to YouTube showing evidence of Quantum TV's alleged homophobia online including numerous homophobic tweets and posts on social media, shown below. The Qu <clears throat> Quantum TV copyright strikes The Act Man. On April 10th, 2022, YouTuber The Act Man uploaded a video titled The Worst Elden Ring Hot Takes, where he reacts to Quantum TV's review and the copyright strike drama between Quantum and Mischief. The video gained over 1.9 million views in two months. Then it says on April 19th, the act man posted a tweet sharing a copyright strike form against his video filed by Quantum TV. 
In the tweet he writes, unfortunately for him, YouTube actually knows what fair use is and rejected his takedown request. Gaining over 10,000 likes in two months, shown below left that same day. The act man tweeted a comment by Quantum TV suggesting he's seeking other options to deal with the act man's alleged copyright abuse. Shown below writes, and the act man says, Quantum TV tried to take down my Elden Ring hot takes video claiming copyright infringement. Unfortunately for him, YouTube actually knows what fair use is and rejected his takedown request. Get fucked, nerd. Stop being such a cunt. <laughs> oh, wow. This is nuts. I can't zoom out. Okay. The act man tweeted a screenshot of DMs between the two of them later that day where Quantum TV claims using his deleted video footage from the review constitutes piracy, shown below. On April 20th, YouTuber Some Ordinary Gamers posted a video about the drama, Quantum TV's abuses of YouTube's copyright system and defending the act man, gaining over 600,000 views in two months. On April 21st, the act man tweeted hypothesizing that Quantum TV committed perjury by filing the false claim. On the same day, the act man tweeted an alleged Discord message posted by Quantum TV that March, making several homophobic remarks and claiming some YouTube tech reviewers are Satanists, gaining over 11,000 likes in two months. So I'm just going to read what Quantum TV had posted. I just want to thank everyone for sticking with me. It's obvious most of these other reviewers like Stop the FOMO, Digital Trends, and HDTV Test are just Satanist in disguise. Every time I've seen one of their videos, you can tell they are trying to brainwash the masses into their gay, liberal, satanic, atheist agenda. One minute someone could be watching Stop the FOMO, and the next minute they start having anal sex with their dads, doing coke, and trying to conjure demons with satanic rituals. Satanic influence is a in joke. It was obvious already when Stop the FOMO ended up using the Lucifer logo to praise Satan and claimed he was just testing for blooming. God, I hate atheists with their satanic rituals. Every one of these people are going to hell and suffer for eternity. They need an ass-kicking from some Christians. Also, all the troll comments from satanic atheists are getting banned. All the satanic gay atheist people accusing me of being a coward for deleting my video. I only had to delete them because of YouTuber's gay agenda instead of people getting upset at me. Why don't they just let me be? Because they are heterophobic, anti-Christian pieces of shit. I don't want to participate in the anal sex the liberal people tell me to. Remember to stay strong in the faith of Christ who died for our sins. God loves you and love will prosper. So he had to bring religion into this shit too? Jeez. On April 23rd, the act man posted a video to YouTube going over Quantum TV's abuse of the copyright system, citing his back and forth with mischief and his attempts to copyright strike other YouTubers unfairly, including Review Tech USA. He also suggests that... Shit, I hit the back button by mistake. Oh, well, I'm not going to go and read all of that. What I am going to do now is I'm going to basically just give my thoughts on the situation and call it a day. So, Act Man was demonetized, right? And it was partially due to, um, well, not partially, mainly due to Quantum TV copyright striking his stuff. And I personally think that this entire situation is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know about any of you guys or what you guys might think of this, but this drama is completely out of control. And if I come across anything else regarding it, I will be sure to link it in the description. But that's been pretty much all I wanted to say on this. If you did like this video, as usual, leave a like, comment telling me your thoughts on the drama, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Stay tuned. Only if you're interested, though. Bye, guys.